and welcome to my channel. My daughter's birthday is going to be coming up. So I've been planning her birthday for the past two months now. I'm like super excited about her birthday. It's not even funny. I think I'm like more excited than anybody else because <laughs> it's the first birthday that we are going for her. So today's video, we're going to be making some Dollar Tree unicorn games and treat bags. Now this is going to be breaking down into like a three-part series and I love how each of these items turn out and I hope you like them too. Without further ado, why don't we go ahead and get crafting. So for our first project, we're going to make this unicorn inspired hoop toss game. You're going to need a pack of paper plates the pack of foil numbers and all these items I got from the Dollar Tree. You're also going to need a pack of party hats, a feather boa. I did not use the double sided tape or the ribbon here. You're also going to need a hot glue gun and some hot glue, a pair of scissors, and lastly, you're going to need two packets of bracelet glow sticks. Take out the amount of party hats that you're going to use. Next, you're going to add some hot glue to the bottom of the party hat. Once you've gone all the way around, you're going to place the party hat on top of the paper plate. And then you're going to add some more hot glue to the bottom of the hat and the paper plate to make sure it's nice and secure. Don't worry what it looks like because we're going to be covering it up anyways. You're gonna take your feather boa and you're gonna place it from the back of the hat and wrap it all the way around till you meet the other end. We're doing this to measure out how much of the feather boa we're going to use. Once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and pull away all the feathers so you don't cut them off and just cut off what you measured. And I cut off the little ends right here I'll eat it and then I pulled away all the feathers again and put a heaping amount of hot glue to the back of the party hat and place the feather boa there. I repeated this same process about every two to three inches and wrapped the feather boa around the bottom of the hat. Next, I went ahead and clipped off any of the feathers that were flying everywhere to make it look nice and even. If you see any bare spots, like you see right here, Go ahead and get those feathers that you just clipped off with the scissors. Add some hot glue and place the feather where the bare spot is. So everything looks nice and clean and even. Next, you're gonna need the packet of foil numbers. I used about three sheets for this game since I was gonna use double digit numbers. And I punched out all the numbers that I was going to use for the games. I ended up going with 10, 25, and 50, but you can use whatever numbers of your desire. Next, I hot glued each of the numbers that I picked out to the front end of the paper plate. And you're just going ahead and repeat this process until each plate has a number on it. It's 
both of these glow stick bracelets, you're going to use two sticks per hoop. So you get a total of five. And this is how they turn out. They're super cute and adorable. Now I was only able to make three of these per feather boa, so if you want to make more, go ahead and grab an extra boa. And this is how the game works. Super cute and fun. For the second project, we're going to make these adorable unicorn tree tags. You're going to need two pieces of white paper, blue and pink paper, also the packet of white baggies, a pack of glitter paper, your hot glue gun, and glue sticks. You'll also need a pair of scissors and wire cutters, some pencils and a black marker, and lastly you're going to need some flowers. One of the white papers you're going to use to sketch out the stencils that you're going to use so everything looks cohesive throughout each bag. Right here I drew out a unicorn horn. Once I was drawn, I cut it out and I traced it on some gold glitter paper. These are for the girl treat bags. Once everything was traced, I went ahead and cut them out. Next, I started to draw out the unicorn ears that we're going to use as a stencil. I used the unicorn horn as a reference to make sure that the ears were not too big. After that, I started to sketch a smaller triangle for the inner ear of the unicorn. And then I cut it out once it was drawn. For this next step, you're going to use the bigger triangle that we just sketched out and you're going to trace it on to the second white piece of paper that we had and you're going to need to draw out two triangles per bag that you're going to make. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and cut them out. Now we're going to use a smaller triangle on the pink paper for the inner side of the unicorn ear and we're going to repeat the same steps as we did with the bigger triangle. And you're also going to need to trace out two small triangles per bag as well. Once everything is cut and traced, I got some glue and glued the inner ear onto the outer ear and I just placed it into the middle of the white triangle. Now I flipped everything over so there wouldn't be any pencil marks showing. To give the horns a 3D effect, I went ahead and drew some diagonal lines in between each of the bumps. It just really brought the horn to life. Next, you're going to remove all of the greenery from all your flowers and cut off the stems with the wire cutters. Now some of the flowers from the Dollar Trees, you don't have to like cut off the stems with the wire cutters. You can just simply pull them off from the flower. And if they have any nubs like you see right here, just use your wire cutters and cut them off. I went ahead and laid everything down on the bags before I started gluing them down. And right here with the unicorn horn, I made sure there was a gap between the handles on the bag and the horn itself so the kids wouldn't have any issues when they picked up the bag. Once I liked how everything was placed, I went ahead and got my hot glue and started to glue everything down. Next, we're gonna go and hot glue the flowers. I started in the middle first and worked my way out from there. You're gonna add a generous amount of hot glue to the bottom of the horn and press down on the flower. I moved it around a little bit until I liked exactly where the flower is gonna be placed and I held it there until the glue dried. You're gonna repeat the same exact process for the other two flowers that you're gonna use. You're gonna place them under 
each of the ear. I then added some more hot glue to the back of each flower and to cover up all the green parts in the back of the flowers I got the flower and hot glued it down to cover up any spots I did not want to show. I also added some more hot glue to some of the petals to make sure that the flowers are nice and secure on all the tree bags. Lastly, I sketched out some really pretty eyelashes on each of the treat bags and then I traced them with a black marker to really bring them forward. I just thought this was so stinking cute and I love how each of the bags turned out. And you just repeat all the same process amongst each treat bag. So I had a few boys that were coming to my daughter's birthday party. I didn't want to give them a unicorn bag with a bunch of flowers on it. Most boys really wouldn't want a bag like that so I went ahead and personalized a unicorn tree bag just for the boys. And right here I went ahead and grabbed the tree bag as reference and started to sketch out some sunglasses to make this really cool rocker type boy unicorn. And this is also going to be used as a stencil. Once I drew it out, I cut them out. Next, I sketched out another stencil for the hair that we're gonna use on the unicorn bags. And then I cut it out as well. These are the items we're going to need to assemble the boy treat bags. We're going to start off by making the inner part of the unicorn ears. We're going to use the light blue paper and use a smaller triangle and just like we did with the girl tree bags you're going to trace out two triangles per bag as well and cut them out. So once you've cut everything out and traced it, you're going to add some glue and repeat the same exact process as we did before and place the little triangle in the middle of the white triangle. Next I got the unicorn horn stencil that we made previously and I traced that out on some silver glitter paper. Once I traced out all the horns that I needed, I went ahead and cut them out. Next, I took the hair stencil that I made and traced that out on some blue glitter paper. I know it's a lot of tracing and a lot of cutting, but trust me, it's gonna be worth it at the end because you're gonna have these really cute, adorable treat bags that you made for your child's birthday and everybody's just gonna love them. I then got the sunglass stencil that I made and traced that out on some black glitter paper. In case you're interested in all the stencils that I'm using in this video, I'll be linking them below in the description box. And once I traced it out, I went ahead and cut it out. Just like the girl tree bags, I placed everything down first and arranged it to my liking to make sure everything was nice and even and it wasn't crooked or anything like that before I added any hot glue to the bag.
I then got some hot glue and started to glue each of the items onto the bag exactly where I placed them previously. And I repeated the same exact process to each of the boy bags. Now when it came to hot gluing the sunglasses down on the bag, I went ahead and hot glued one side of the glasses first and then I hot glued the, uh, the rest of the sunglasses down to the bag. It was a lot easier to do it this way than try to glue the whole entire glasses to the bag. Lastly, I got a black marker and traced the outer edge of the ears. It was just really cool and I love the effect that it gave. And it just really brought the boy bag to like a whole nother level. So this is how the treat bags turned out. They are so freaking cute. I love them so much. And it feels so good to give something personalized to my daughter's birthday. Now when I previously filmed this, I filmed this before I added the eyelashes to the girl bags. And let me tell you, those lashes really brought the bag to a whole nother level. So don't forget those eyelashes. If you love to paint and draw, you're gonna love this last project. So you're gonna need a foam board, some paint brushes, a pack of foam squares. I got these at Walmart, a pack of 52, and they're like a bunch of different colors. And you're gonna need a pair of scissors, some paint, we got pink, lavender, blue, and some metallic gold paint. I also used white paint as well, I just didn't put it in the video, and a pencil. To make this game, I first started to sketch the unicorn lightly onto the foam board. I didn't really make really dark pencil marks, just so when I did paint the poster, you wouldn't see the pencil seeping through the paint. Now since this is pin the horn on the unicorn, I didn't draw a horn on the unicorn. I just lightly dashed where the horn will be placed so when kids play it, they know exactly where it goes. This beautiful purple lilac color uh, is the first pink color that I used to paint the unicorn and I just slowly painted every little edge and corner as best as I could. Next color I used on the poster is beautiful sky blue. Now all the colors that I'm using to paint the poster are colors that I'm going to be putting in my daughter's birthday party. For the last color I use this really pretty pink color. Now if you're interested in knowing all these pink colors I will also be linking them in the description box below. Now to give the unicorn some depth and texture, I also added a one strand on the unicorn's hair with this really pretty metallic gold color. It was like really cool. I just liked how it all turned out. And I know it sounds pretty redundant to paint over a white surface, but I wanted to take the unicorn's face and bring it forward off the paper so you can distinct the difference between the two. Give the unicorn a really cute little rosy cheek. I used this bristle brush and dabbed it lightly in some pink paint. And then I got my paper towel and just took off any excess paint and I kind of dry brushed it and dabbed it lightly into the spot I would like it to go. After all the paint has dried, I went in with a black marker and outlined the whole entire unicorn. And I did the same thing to the unicorn where I just dotted it lightly so the kids know exactly where it's gonna go when they play the game and here I just wrote out a sign which said pin the horn on the unicorn and then I went in with a marker to trace over it and I painted it the same exact colors that I used on the unicorn below. To make the horns for the game, I measured out what I just previously sketched on the poster so I know how tall the horn needs to be. Now these pack of 52 
foam sheets. There's four sheets per color. This is a great way to distinct between each child that are playing the game. And right here, I just sketched out a unicorn horn. And after I sketched it out and cut it, I used this first horn as a stencil for all the other horns that I was going to make. And you just cut it out and repeat the same process with all the other horns that you're going to make. Here's how we make the horns stick to the poster board. You use some double-sided tape and here you go. Voila! A beautiful, awesome unicorn. Pin the horn on the unicorn poster. So cool. DIY. And everybody's going to love it at the party. And so here we go. I just wanted to demonstrate exactly how it's going to work. Don't worry, when you remove any of the horns off the poster, it will not destroy it. So you can use this game over and over again, or just simply keep it and yeah, hang it up in your house. Good job. Y'all have a great day. See you next time. Bye.